Very exciting day today. We are starting the Tyvek. We're gonna get the house wrapped, which means we are one step closer to getting more exterior finishes. Alrighty y'all, before we start this video, I did wanna say thank you to everybody who's grabbing merch. If you haven't yet, check out nicospropertyshow.com, grab you a hoodie or whatever you want because it is getting cold outside. So do that and if you've been supporting, appreciate you so much. If you want this Nico duplex, you can find it down in the description below. Check that out, but let's get on with the video. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Nico's Property Show. Very exciting day today. We are starting the Tyvek. We're gonna get the house wrapped, which means we are one step closer to getting more exterior finishes like siding, soffit, uh, brick, everything like that that just gets us one step closer so right now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk around and kind of show you what's been happening they got the compressor out my man just showed up with his truck got all the tools everything that's needed and I bought him a brand new button cap stapler gun so uh, the guy who's actually in charge of everything like he was like hey if you're already running to the store can you grab one and we'll just figure it out later I'm like absolutely no worries most people use staples but we like the button cap nails because what happens is if you're only using the staples when it goes through the Tyvek, if it ever rips or it's like a strong wind or something like that, it can actually blow away and then you'll see Tyvek kind of flapping on houses, which is not what we want. The button cap nails keep it nice, tight and secure and it doesn't let all these different penetrations be there in the Tyvek, which could potentially get moisture into the house somehow. Even though we have brick, you should be fine, but you just wanna take the necessary steps to not allow moisture or whatever to get into the house. So anyways, I'm gonna show you what this even looks like right here. So if you follow me right here, um, what we're gonna do is wrap the entire house and this right here is what it is. So it's just like a material that you put on there and it allows as a, it, it, it really is a moisture barrier. So it's like a vapor barrier right there that you see on whatever it is. So it's just another piece of the puzzle in between another piece of the puzzle. Um, and before he actually does that, what we're gonna do is get a piece of flashing that's gonna go along the exterior of the blocks right there so that when they're doing the brick, they can actually have that because they will have to fold it up to make sure that we are also keeping moisture out from inside of the house because we do build out of wood and you don't want that wood getting wet and we wanna keep the moisture out. So anyways, I think that's enough talking. That was a lot of information all in one sentence. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. He's getting ready right now, getting all this stuff, his tool belt, and this is gonna be awesome. I'm excited to get this and then we're gonna move on to windows getting installed, roofing getting installed there's going to be so much happening which i'm so excited for so let's get them working Alrighty y'all, so we are almost done, not we, Luis, man, he is knocking it out. He's done a phenomenal job. He already finished one gable right there all the way around the house. And then he's got this one more to go on the left side of the house. He's over there eating an everything bagel sandwich, having a caramelicious hot right there. We appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. Um, I got me an almond decaf latte right here. So anyways, I want to show you how awesome of a job he did over here. Like he knocked it out. I'm telling you, it worked out. It went in the direction that we wanted it to. Like everything looks so smooth. And we went with the nine foot rolls because we have nine foot walls inside of the house. So right there we have all that done. And then we have that black flashing underneath right there. So when they're actually laying the brick, you'll be able to see maybe when we do the videos, well, they'll kind of like wrap it up into it after they do a few courses and then other stuff like that. This is just something that allows us to be able to help the house stay moisture free and just to keep it as waterproof as possible. So that's just another layer before the brick goes on. Can't wait to get all the siding on. That's coming soon. I mean, we're going to get the roofing on, the shingles, the windows. So right now you're like, oh my gosh, how do you get in the house? Basically what you have to do is you have to run full speed and you just have to attack one of the open areas. So we're just gonna run and basically just full body through one of these holes right here. I'm just kidding, we'll take a knife, cut that open. We'll get those doors installed and everything like that. Get the windows installed. And he's literally got like 10 minutes left of work. So I was like, you know what? Let me go run off, grab some stuff for him. Um, give him a little bite to eat this morning. 
and now we're almost done. So this didn't take long at all. He got here at eight and right now it is 1031. What was that? Three hours, three hours to get this job done. Looks beautiful. Love it, so excited to be at this part of the process. Can't wait to get back here once he finishes up uh, with the roofing guys, with the window guys and everything like that. So we're just gonna keep progressing, keep knocking this thing out and check out nicospropertyshow.com, grab you some merch. We'll see you. Alrighty, y'all, top of the morning. It is super cold out here this morning, which in about two hours is gonna be super hot. The weather's crazy here in Chattanooga. But my guys showed back up, the ones who did the framing and they're actually gonna install the windows. Very excited for this part because we got the windows here, the doors are gonna get installed as well, the exterior ones, so I can finally put some like temporary locks on it so people aren't walking in and out. I've had people kind of walking down the street using the porter potty, coming in and stuff like that. But that's all right. So anyways, my guys right here are getting all the Tyvek cut out and everything, which I am following, you know, the the protocol that the window companies have on their website telling you how to do it. So what we're doing is, I'll kind of show you on this side, is we cut it at a 45, a 45, and then what we'll do is we'll lift that back lip up, put some tape on it underneath so that water can't get behind it, then tape the seams back down. We'll get some nice stretch tape along the bottom edge here, get those windows in, get that tape on the sides, and just make this thing look really, really awesome. Very excited to be at this point in the process. We're gonna get those guys working over here, man. I mean, this is good stuff. We're just, we're moving, we're grooving. We got all kinds of stuff. We got the shingles, everything is ready for the roof, the windows, the exterior doors, just a lot of progress is happening right now at the duplex. So this is really good stuff. Drop a comment. Let me know what you've been loving about the entire process of the build, but I'm going to stop talking. We're going to get them working. We're going to get this thing knocked out and then we're going to get up out of here. So let's get them doing these windows. Alrighty, y'all, I want to do a quick update on what was going on right now. All of the windows are set, and what they're going to do now is actually apply the tape that goes on the exterior, the bottom, and then the top part right there. I want to walk around the house and kind of show you how it all looks, and I do want to stay further back so you guys can get a full view of what this actually turned out to be. So I'll have you step over here, kind of give the full shot of everything. We got the kitchen window, and then we're going to go on to this. I believe this is not the master bedroom right here. I'm, I could be mistaken. I get turned around when I'm inside and outside. This is the master. This is the master bedroom window right here on this side. And then basically we can go around the back. There's two windows there. So that's for the window in the other bedroom, the guest bedroom right there. And then obviously this is the other guest bedroom right here. And we'll just keep going around. They're doing a phenomenal job um, knocking out all these windows. All of them are done. Like I said, 
we're going to go back or they're going to go back and apply the tape um, making sure that it's nice on there and it seals off all of the windows and make sure that the windows are as waterproof as possible um, and what you'll see is we actually add an extra layer um, we pull that Tyvek back on top cut it at the 45s we'll put the actual tape across the top of the window on the plywood then put the Tyvek over the tape and then add tape on the seams where it was cut or we might just go all the way across if we do have enough tape so that there's like two or three layers where if water ever gets into it it'll go around and just drip on down go this way and come off at the bottom and then we have this and then we'll have brick so we will be good um, we'll go around the front here and just kind of show you the last couple big windows and I'm very excited to be at this point in the process the guys doing the roofing shingles and everything should be coming at any moment but it's kind of good because everybody's not working on top of each other but check this out this looks amazing big front windows right here a lot of fresh sunlight coming through and then they're actually going to set the exterior doors for me as well so they're going to knock out the front door front or back door and then front door and back door on the other side so a lot of good progress a lot of good things happening very excited all of the material for the roofing is here we are good to go we are good to start that process so whenever they get here this will probably take them a half day maybe one full day not sure usually when they're working up there i mean this is a pretty flat roof this is a 712 pitch this is nothing crazy you can run up there and do workouts if you want so anyways enough talking for me we're going to finish up on these windows get the tape applied get the doors installed and basically we're just going to get this thing done and move in by tomorrow i think so enough talking for me let's get them working Alrighty y'all, so as the guys are knocking out the doors, they got the windows done. I'm actually cleaning the windows up a bit. They came out really, really dirty. Um, seems like they were probably sitting outside or something like that, which is cool. It is whatever right there. So I wanted to make sure that I kind of cleaned everything off. I got the electric pressure washer, so it's not too much pressure against any of this. Just kind of get everything, the dust, all the leaves, everything that was all over everything knocked out, get that out the way. As they finish up the last door actually, um, I'm gonna knock this out, get all the way around the house. I've done most of it already. They're gonna do this last front door behind them right there. And then basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna do any kind of framing punch out, anything small, few little areas where like we might need another two by four behind the bathtub insert or something like that. Um, and just get a few little things done. Um, we've got a lot of progress. Roofing guys still haven't showed up. Maybe this will show up today. We'll see what happens. If not today, then tomorrow. Um, that should be a one day job if they have from morning to evening to knock it out. But hopefully they still show up so we can get at least the synthetic felt paper on the roof, kind of get me covered up. It's calling for rain. We're not sure. Haven't had rain in like three weeks, so you never know nowadays. But anyways, I'm gonna get back out there, keep cleaning the windows and everything, get some Windex on them, kind of make them look a little better. I just like a clean, nice job site. Um, and we'll get them finishing this last door. And then beyond that, we're just gonna keep on getting more progress. Alrighty y'all, so the framers have left the job site. They got all the windows installed and the roofers unfortunately did not show up today, but that is okay. We're gonna pray that it does not rain. 
the house looks beautiful. All the windows installed, the front doors, the back doors. If you just look at this, I mean, I am so happy right now. No joke, I am ecstatic to be at this point of the process. I mean, it just, it feels like it's becoming a home. Um, and it's not gonna be my home, it's gonna be somebody's home, that's for sure. But it just feels so freaking phenomenal to be at this stage. And to be honest, while we're filming all of these different videos, I'll be real with y'all, this has only been one month and I know I'm backlogging all the content, everything like that, but this has taken us a month. So from the day we broke ground, cleared all the land, to having all these windows installed and the shingles being installed, on the next video, this has only taken a month. So it's been freaking crazy. We've been going, scheduling, making sure everything's good, all the material. I do wanna just kinda give y'all a nice warm welcome into the house as we push this front door open. Welcome to the Nico Duplex. Again, big shout out to hpzplans.com. We do have the Nico Duplex. It is a custom plan. If you want it, it's down in the description below. Go check it out. They have all kinds of plans. I wanna show you the rendering. Again, I love showing this rendering because this is what the duplex will actually look like. I mean, we are just moving and grooving. We've got the roofers coming out. Hopefully they show up in the morning so I can come on here and say top of the morning to you folks. The roofers are here. We'll hope for that. We'll pray for no rain. And beyond that, we'll see what happens. We got siding on the way too. That's getting delivered soon. So just a lot going on. Can't wait to get this thing done. Get the brick done on the exterior. And beyond that, we'll just have dirt work and just making sure we get the concrete um, formed and everything for the driveways. Just a lot going on that I'm very excited for. And this is going to be great. So anyways, enough talking. I'm going to go pray after we end out this video. Hopefully we get no rain and hopefully the roofers show up. So I'll see you all in the morning. Top of the morning to you folks. The rain held off. Me and God's conversation went really well. The roofers showed up and they got the van, the infamous van. They pull up, they got the ladders all on it. They got everything ready to go. Um, and what's really cool is one thing is they have this device where you can actually, it's like a ladder and then it has like a little lift on it. So you actually put the shingles down at the bottom and it raises it all the way to the roof for you. So you're not having to carry all of the shingles up the ladder on the roof and then you're just wearing yourself out for the day. You got two guys here right now. They said another three or four are gonna show up. Maybe that's what I understood. I'm not sure he said this would probably be a four or five hour job. Dude, these guys are crazy, man. When you got Mexicans working on your job site, most Latinos, man, they fly through. And people are like, well, if they're flying too fast, it's not gonna be good quality. We got some quality guys out here. They're moving quick, but they're getting the job done right because I want to have quality products. I'm not going to build an, just a terrible product. We're not gonna do that out here. So they're gonna get this done. This is an easy pitched roof, as I told you before. We got the roofing nails right here. We got everything, the shingles, the synthetic felt paper, the ice and water shield that goes down in the valleys. Then we have these that go on the plumbing that came out so these will go on top of that we got the omni roll that covers that two inch there's a two inch gap across the full top of the actual plywood on the roof where everything can vent so it's a vented area the omni roll allows that air to come in and out and just have good ventilation right there so we got the black drip edge that'll go along the side there that will go underneath the vinyl on that fascia board we're going to get the soffits done the vinyl siding soon and this is just all good stuff i mean i'm excited they got all their tools out right here if you've never seen a actual roofing gun, it is different from a framing gun that has this and the nails are actually in like rolls and they go in here and then ta 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 Much easier, much lighter actually. The framing gun is like a cartridge that you slide in every time. Again, they said they're going to get this thing done in four to five hours. I'm excited. Going to get a lot of progress out here. I want to show you all something though. Come over here with me. I have a uh, nice little guest appearance. So I'm going to grab something out of my truck. Meow. Get him, get him, get him. Look, look, look. Come in hot. Meow. Meow. Come on, come eat. Meow. Come on, look at him. We got the whole family. I'm not sure if this is Garfield or what, but anyways, enough talking. That was a long, long um, intro to this video. I'm excited. We got the guy going up already. They're gonna start with the synthetic felt paper. We're using button cap nails, which are nice and small. And we'll get some close-up shots of all the work. Get it time-lapse. This is gonna be really cool. Had to feed the, the town cats right here. But anyways, enough talking for me. Let's get them working.
Alrighty y'all, so right here, this is what this entire process looks like. So back in the day, you used to have to grab a bundle of shingles, put it on your back, maybe two, and then hope you don't fall off the ladder, which it worked, it absolutely worked. Um, but right now, what you can do is, you can knock this out, putting it on here, it throws it up, it keeps wear and tear off of the body. It's a really cool idea, honestly, I love it. I mean, look at this, it's a, it's a nice little shingle lift. And that's amazing. So these guys are knocking this out. They'll get all these up there in no time. We went with the Weatherwood shingles, which pulls a little bit of the tan out there. It's a little, like a little bit browner. We're gonna have some gray brick, so it's gonna be a nice touch. Um, so really excited with the color of this shingle. You'll see once they start popping it open, but they're gonna be working hard, working fast. More guys are on the way. This thing's gonna get done before we freaking know it. Really love this idea here. They're already moving with the two sheets up there at the top, but right now, um, I'm going to get out of their way. They're going to keep filming. All right, y'all, they just finished all the prep work for the roof. They finished putting the felt paper down. They put the ice and water in the valley. Now they're ready to start hitting the shingles down. So as you can see, they already started that. They have this corner done here. They have part of that gable done over there. They're moving pretty quick. They said they'd be done before lunch. Let's see if that happens. But we're gonna watch them finish this roof and sooner than we know, it's gonna be done. Alrighty y'all, so ton of work is being done down here or up here so far. They got this entire front part of everything knocked out. They've got this front gable almost completed. They're on the side right now, killing the back as well. And we'll kind of show you here in a second. So if you walk over here, you'll be able to see them working on the side of the house. And then they got the guys on the back as well. So just kind of give them the view right there. They're going all around. I mean, six guys, I think they're honestly done in another hour and a half, like right before lunchtime. I mean, this looks beautiful. Again, this is that um, weathered wood look right here. It's a little bit lighter. I'll grab a shingle right here just so y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about. But as you look closer, it's not a super dark shingle. 
like right across the street, my neighbor, you can see it's like really, really dark. That's a charcoal right there. But this kind of pulls with the tans. It's got a little bit of blue in there and that will really pop with the kind of brick that I have coming with the sand vinyl siding that I have, the soffits and everything like that. But these guys are rolling, man. I mean, they're getting everything done. They got the ice and water down. They got all the uh, synthetic felt paper down and they are on a roll. And then we will put the Omni roll on top of here where the ridge vent is and you'll see that a little bit later so we did leave that area right here this is the vented space and they will put that omni roll which you will see um and this is just great progress so anyways enough talking for me i'm not a big fan of heights up here so i'm gonna get my butt down they're gonna keep working they're gonna get this thing knocked out probably another hour and a half out here and we'll get out of here Alrighty y'all, so we are completely done with all the roofing. And when I say we, I mean they are completely done with all the roofing. All the shingles are done. The black drip edge is there as well. Come a little bit closer here. I want y'all to see what that drip edge looks like right there. It's up against right where underneath you see the shingle hanging off about an inch and a half past the drip edge. And what we will actually do is we'll be able to slide a piece of siding, which it's like a coil and it is that sand color. So what's gonna happen is you see that drip edge there, they're gonna kind of slide it up underneath, which allows everything to roll off. It's for the water to be able to roll off then it'll be able to roll off that fascia board and then just go all the way down and find its way to the bottom. And then of course we have the Tyvek and everything, but we will get this thing bricked up. So I am excited to be at this point in the process. Everything is done. They got all the Omni roll up there. You saw that throughout the videos. You saw them hustling. Um, I do want to go to the back of the house real quick. So we're going to walk over there really quickly. Um, and just kind of show you what it looks like from the back with the vents and everything. So that's something that I think looks really cool just because like right now when you kind of pull up to a house, you never see the vents or any of the, the plumbing vents, the HVAC vents, anything like that. So I just wanted to show you all real quick so you have an idea of what that actually turns out to be from this bottom area if you're ever on the back side of the house in the backyard looking up. So basically right there, what you see is they put the boots on the pipes that were for the plumbing and that goes all the way across. We had four of those and then the black other vents that you see are the HVAC vents. So what we'll do is we won't keep those actual white PVC pipes white. We'll take some black spray paint. I kind of put a little thing around it, spray paint it, turn it black so that when you look up, it kind of blends with the entire roof, all the shingles and everything like that. Really loving this color. Um, do need to get a dumpster out here. That's kind of my dumpster pile right there until the drywall shows up because it'd be kind of pointless. I don't have that much trash. So we're going to get some of this plywood out of here, everything like that. And basically guess what? Tomorrow morning, the siding guys are coming. So we're gonna get the vinyl siding on the front gables, the shake, and then the soffits and everything like that. So this thing is going to look phenomenal. But anyways, that's enough talking. I will see y'all out here tomorrow in the morning when the siding guys show up. Alrighty y'all, so we were gonna get the siding done today, but guess what it decided to do after not raining for like an entire three or four weeks? It decided to rain. Look, we've got rain all on this. So as you can see, I was like, man, the siding guys were like, yo, we're not gonna be able to come out. So they are gonna come out the next day, but you'll see that in the video that's gonna be coming up because we didn't wanna get all this all muddy and just kinda just make it all dirty and everything like that because it is so unfortunate to have to be working in that kind of condition. But anyways, what I am happy with is the progress. We are moving forward. We are making amazing progress and we are gonna get this thing done, but it is time to end out this video. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on all social platforms for Nico's Property Show so you can get behind the scenes sneak peek stuff Check out nicospropertyshow.com, grab you some merch, and without further ado, smile more, worry less, and stay blessed. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.